there's a couple things you need to do to take advantage of Blizzard's uh, current EXP um, exploit, I guess. Some people are calling it an exploit. Um, I just kind of call it lazy AFK power leveling. Um, so, you know, the first thing you need to do is use the new game browser. So you go to Arcade, then over here, Find Game, and in this little search box, you can just type EXP. So from here, I always sort by ping as well. Um, from here, you just want to find a game that claims AFK, EXP farm, so on and so forth, um, and that it has, you know, enough people in it. So the way that this will work um, is I'm going to use a macro to... Uh, to pretty much automatically select a champion um, because that's the only thing that matters. So I've sat through a game with the champion selected and I received, give or take, about 7,000 experience for doing absolutely nothing, just sitting in spawn, just AFK the entire time. And that's what all these games are right now. Um, because in Skirmish, there is no auto kick for AFK. Or at least not in these games, there isn't. Um, so the only problem with that is everybody says, you know, 100% AFK, AFK, blah, blah, blah. But it's not really AFK, um, because if you don't pick a hero, I, I had it sit through a game with no hero pick just to see if I could truly like let this run all night long and continue getting experience. If you don't pick a hero, you will receive zero. Not even one point of experience, zero. Um, so obviously, you know, if you're going to let this game run and, and try to get EXP... Um, you obviously want to get AXP. So the only thing that matters, if you right-click on the game lobby, all that you really want to see is return to lobby never. So that just means that it will automatically go into the next game. Um, in Skirmish, there is no, like, play the game or any of that stuff. So literally all that matters is return to lobby never. Um, if the host leaves, it will pass it to the next available player, and it will keep the game open. So you don't have to worry about, like, the host, you know, closing the game or whatever. Um, so just to show you what I'm talking about quickly, um, I'm going to join this game. What you're going to want to set up in your macro is just one button. So we're loading the game. I'm not going to touch my mouse or anything like the macro is going to work. Right now it automatically picks Zenyatta for me. Um, that's all you need to set up is to have it randomly click escape. Um, I have it click escape like every 30 or 45 seconds, something like that, just because the macro software I use is not very advanced. It is completely free. Um, I'll put a link in the description, but I'm about to get to that. So if you guys have macro software that came with your mouse or anything like that, just go ahead and set up for escape to be pushed randomly, 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you want. And that's it. That's it. It will level for as long as you maintain internet connection and the game doesn't crash. Um, yeah, so you can leave now. Do that and enjoy your experience while it lasts. I mean, if there's anything I learned about Blizzard is it's only a matter of time before this is patched, so take advantage of it while you can. Um, for everybody else, people who don't know what macros are or you don't have macro software that came with your mouse, so on and so forth, or your mouse macro software doesn't have a repeat function, a continuous function, uh, a long enough time frame in between because you don't want to be hitting escape in this game every three milliseconds. Um, yeah, so like with my mouse, I have an EVGA Torque X10. Um, although it does come with software that lets me control the lights and it does have macro options and a bunch of other stuff, I can manually map the keys. It's a fantastic mouse. I do love it. Um, what it doesn't do is it doesn't have a repeat or continuous or loop. Um, and also, even though I can set the macro to be a mouse button, it will not record me pushing that mouse button in the macro. So I can't even have it repeat doing that. Um, so what I did is I, you know, just did a Google search for macro software for Windows. Um, if you're a Mac person, I'm sorry you overpaid for your computer. And unless it's broken and needs hardware replaced, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, for all the Windows people out there, which is a whopping, like, 96% of desktop users, um, you can perform the search yourself, or you can go to uh, Raymond.cc. Um, 
Well, really, just go to the link I put in the description because it's a much longer URL than that. So anyways, uh, I randomly stumbled across this guy's website a bunch of times looking for, you know, small niche miscellaneous programs that perform something particular. Um, this guy's obviously, you know, another computer nerd who probably has spent too much time on Google finding stuff, so he just did it himself. Um, so I do trust the guy's website. I mean, you can, you can look at it. You can find your own your own software. Uh, the macro software that I'm going to use is called Tiny Task. Right now it's open on the right side of this video. Um, it's also been running above Overwatch this entire time. So it's a self-containing con um, program. So that means it doesn't create any files. It doesn't install to your computer. It just runs from itself. Um, very much like soft Mac software works. So I wouldn't be surprised if this does work on Mac. Um, so anyways, um, if you go to this page, just scroll down a little bit until you see Tiny Task, And then, you know, he, it, it's a top 10 list and I'm on the second page. Uh, so if you want to go back and look at the, the other top seven, you can just go down there, click on one. Um, and you can pick whichever, you know, macro software you want to use. For the most part, I'm happy with my, with my mouse software. Um, it just didn't perform exactly what I wanted it to for this. Um, all right, so on his website, what's really nice, you click on download Tiny Task, and then it will do a virus total scan on the website before it will link you out. So right here, if you don't know what virus total is, I mean, you can just Google that word and read Wikipedia about it. Um, but it's a very nice feature. So pretty much this software scans the external um, website link to make sure that you know none of these systems are reporting that it's malicious or has viruses or so on and so forth. Um, you know, some of these names you won't notice at all, but here's a, a Vera, F, whatever, whatever, Bitdefender, um, ESET, Google Safe Browsing, Kapersky, and it, it just has all the big guys because they all participate in, um, in VirusTotal, where they all offer, you know, website scanning solutions that Vir VirusTotal uses the API of to just automate it. Um, Anyways, so if you're happy with, you know, whichever one you picked, this says it's a clean site. I trust his site enough to go ahead and click on download Tiny Task. Um, from here, this is the actual developer site, and you'll see it right here, Tiny Task 1.5. So what you'll do is you just click on it, download it. I've already downloaded it twice. It's right here. Um, I'm not even going to click that to run it because, as you see, it's got one in brackets, so that means that it's already downloaded it again. Um... So as the program's already running, so all you'll do is you just, once you download it, you can just open it. And it will just open the program right here. It will look exactly like this, like a tiny little box. Um, and then you can do whatever you want with it. There's very little to set up in this. Um, you can have the plate speed be uh, normal, fast. Um, by default, continuous is not set up. Uh, repeat count doesn't matter if you have continuous on. It will just automatically loop as soon as... Um, as soon as the macro timer is finished, repeat count is if you only want to run it like 10 times or something. So you don't need to set that. The only thing that does really matter, at least for me, um, is remember settings in INI. So it creates a tiny little file right next to where it was downloaded. Um, so you don't have to, you know, if you close this and come back to it later, you don't have to configure the options every time. That's all that's in it. I opened it in Dream Viewer. It's just, it's just the program files. Um, if you don't trust it, don't click it and set up your options every single time. Um, so what is important is uh, is recording hotkey and playback hotkey. Recording hotkey, you click it and then any keys that you press, any mouse, uh, any time you move the mouse or anything else, um, it will record those keystrokes or mouse movements. Um, playback is after you're done recording, you push the playback button and then it will run those um, keystrokes or mouse movements that you recorded. Um, and that's really all that there is to the program. Uh, you know, if you do close it later, you can open up the, f you can save your macro and then you can open it again. I mean, really, it only takes a couple seconds to create the macro, so I haven't even saved it yet. Um, okay, so all that you want to do is click on tiny task make sure you have overwatch open you can alt tab into it alt tab out of it um well at least for this i would probably i'd probably just have it windowed maybe you don't have to have it as tiny as i do or whatever um 
but yeah, so I'd, I'd probably just have it windowed because then all you have to do is, so my recording key is F12. So I'm going to push F12 and then right now in tiny task, instead of saying the name tiny task anymore, now it says record and a timer. So the timer is how long the, the macro has been running for. So all that you need to do is you just need to have it record escape. Um, there is a maximum record timer on this macro. That's probably the only downside I've found. So after 20 seconds, I'm going to have it push escape fairly quickly. Um, I'll let it run for another 20 seconds and I'll stop the recording. Uh, this thing does time out the recording, I believe somewhere like around 45 seconds or a minute. Um, I would have much rather had this push the push escape every five minutes. Um, but realistically for free, for as simple as and clean as it is, and it doesn't install anything, 100% completely happy with it. Uh, so once you're done recording, you push F12 again, and then it will save that. Um, so really, so after you've recorded your macro, all that you have to do to make sure that you stay in the game is push F8. And that's it. Now it will randomly, um, well not randomly, now it will repeat that macro until you tell it to stop, which is F8 for me. Um, so as you see, as soon as I pushed it, uh, the name changed to play, and now there's a little timer running next to it. The numbers in the bracket, the number on the left, means how many times that macro has ran. The number on the right means how many times the macro will run. So if you have continuous play on, that's going to be a zero with, uh, with a star, which means infinity. Um, that's it. So now you can go to bed. You wake up in the morning, and you'll see how many times your macro has ran, and then hopefully see a bunch of levels too. So hopefully that helped you guys out. Uh, as always, if you guys need help with any other random programs, games, tips, tricks, just leave me a comment of what you'd like me to explain. Uh, besides that, guys, have a good night, and definitely take advantage of this EXP system before Blizzard patches it.